Are you worried about Danny Jansen? If you're <laughs> watching this right now and you haven't hit the like button, Billy, get on it. Bug your brother. Tell him to do the same. This wasn't on the show notes, so this is out of left field here. So so get prepared to to dance and uh, you know, All right. ad like lib this. here. Like um this. You know, last time I was I had to dance and ad lib. I got roasted for being an idiot about uh, pseudosciences and advanced stats. So I'm excited to see what kind of corner <laughs> you paint me into today. Let's go. Lay it on me. Are you worried about Danny Jansen? Currently, he sits at the negative 0. 0.4 wins above replacement. He's had only 32 at bats. So it's tough to kind of judge what he's doing because he's not getting a ton of plate appearances but he's hitting under 100. I know we haven't seen him struggle like this since the beginning of 2021. And it seemed like he had kind of found his swing, but he was getting every day at bats when he finally put it together, even when he was struggling for the month of April. And that's not as much the case this season. Are you in any way concerned with what we have seen out of Mr. Jansen at the plate this season? Um. Well, I mean, you're really at the plate. Sure. In yeah. general, no. Okay. Like, and that's why he's not a, uh, that's why he wasn't the dud this, this week. And I knew that's why, because he has done a masterful job. Of... Yeah. It's, it's all relative, right? It's the same reason that Zach pop wasn't a dud this week. Like Zach mm-hmm. pop, his ERA was like 13. The, it's the only guy higher than Alec Manoa. Um, boom roasted, but uh, <laughs> it's all relative, right? Like I don't expect, much from Danny Jansen, like his realistic ceiling is our number seven hitter, maybe mm-hmm. like when he's absolutely on fire, maybe he's hitting five or six. If he's on a real heater. I'm not ever really, even though I would love, like, I know, I know he's shown signs of it, that offensive pop. I don't really ever expect him to be an offensive threat, but he's also like as competent behind the plate as it gets. And I, I do mean that as a compliment, even though that's absolutely. Not, I mean, I, I mean, we have word. seen we have seen already this season, right? When a guy has been blowing up or had trouble, they, they stick him with Danny Jansen to call the next game outside of Alec Manoa, and that and that and that has even been talked about amongst uh, the Sportsnet analysts. You know, I know yeah, friend of the show Ben be Nicholson inevitable. Smith brought it up about is is there something the there? Give us. Mm-hmm. Give a pairing to Alec Manoa and Danny Jansen to get his head right. Yeah. So the pushback to that is that Kirk has to catch some of these guys, right? So yes. Um I think here's where it kind of comes down. We just played Houston, right? Who's their mm-hmm. catcher? Martin Maldonado. Yes. Not exactly an offensive juggernaut behind the Not plate. Not a world beater by any means, no. Um although I say that now I look at his career. Oh, no, wait. Career. I was going to say his career batting average is 285. No, his career on base percentage is 285. Okay. I I almost surprised myself with his offensive numbers, but no. (laughs) Career batting average 208. Okay. That makes more sense. Um, Yes. But uh, he's maybe. Is there a catcher in the game you'd rather have behind the plate in the World Series than Martin Maldonado? I ask this because this is what the broadcast asks, so I'm just trying to sound smart here. Hey, but, not not Dusty Baker. Dusty Baker absolutely loves Martin Maldonado. He sticks no, him out there whenever uh, there's uh, a game on the line, right? And I can already hear the keyboards clicking that Danny Jansen is not Martin Maldonado, and that's correct. And that's but correct. Also, the catcher is not ever expected to be really an offensive position. If you get some, it's a bonus. That's how I always look at catcher. Now, that said, there were expectations on Danny Jansen this year being more of an offensive threat than we are seeing out of him currently. Yeah, and I'm one of the guys that expected more. Yeah, me too. I've definitely expected more, but I'm also not worried. I still think by the end of the season, we're going to look at a guy who's hitting 225, 230 Mm -hmm. and has like 15 home runs. See, I truly thought that Danny would break 20 home runs this season, and I I am definitely doubting that prediction now. I mean, it is still very early, but we've seen, I mean, his bat's been anemic. It's been almost non-existent. So it would be nice to see him 
even just career average, right? Which isn't, isn't great, right? He's about a 220 career average hitter with some pop. But if we can see a little bit more of that Danny Jansen and a little bit less of the, uh, the automatic out Jano, good news for the Jays. Yeah, I haven't, uh, to be honest, watched enough of his at-bats, so I can't really speak to how he looks in the batter's box. Like, I don't know. Does he look rigid? Does he look like he's missing? He looks off. He looks off? Like he, okay. he, he just looks like he doesn't have his swing right now, um, which, again, it, it does kind of make sense because he's not getting the everyday at-bats that he was yesterday, or yesterday, that he yesteryear. was last season. Yeah, yesteryear. There you yesteryear. go. Yesteryear. Well, I don't know. Maybe the, uh, I mean, he's a new dad, a brand new baby at home. Maybe that has impacted uh, his sleep, his sleep. <laughs> I don't know. Going into spring training. Like maybe it's just, he's still missing home. I don't know. I'm sure he'll get, he'll get it settled. He'll get it sorted. If we're doing a confidence measurement between Jansen, Biggio and Belt, I would still yeah, say... I, I... Jansen is I have, my far and away number one guy to have better numbers at the end of the year. For those of you, the grounds crew out there would love to hear your confidence level between those three. Biggio, Isn't that an Belt ugly and Jansen? Trio. It's an ugly, it, an it's ugly a, trio. That is not uh, who a, you want to see coming to the plate. It's a at Bermuda's this triangle of offense where offense goes to disappear. Okay, in true walk-off fashion here, we've gotten very long in the tooth and have yet to even hit topic number one. So 